Hey guys, um, it's Joey Mass here for an, a video that I'm going to explain exactly um, what my situation is with MC Brawl. I'm not really going to be doing anything in this video because I'm, I'm literally just going to be walking around in a creative world just so you're not staring at a blank screen. But as you may know, um, about a few weeks ago I got um, permanently banned from MC Brawl with no way of unban. Oh god, this lag. So, yeah, I got permanently banned from MC Brawl um, because of malicious activities, DDoS, and Docs. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth about what happened because I've kind of already explained that, but let's just say I have an awful history of DDoSing and, um, you know, doc well, not doxing exactly. I'm going to explain mostly everything to clarify it because what the way it went down it looked really really bad for me in the end so about I don't know halfway through February I um I was still into the, you know I was like in this phase where I would DDoS people because they aggravated me on MC War and you know right now you're looking at that and you're thinking that's so stupid why would you do that you're an idiot well, I kind of am an idiot for doing that, and I don't blame you for calling me an idiot and an asshole and whatever you want to call me, because most of that is true. So, one day, I don't know, Credo, I think his name was, or something, Credo007, whatever, he was um pissing me off in the chat, and um, so in order to do something to shut him up, I uh, I pasted his Skype in the chat. Now, you see, some of you may or may not know about Skype that you have a, um, the way you register with it is how your name will appear. So if you register for Skype with Facebook, like he apparently did, it'll have in the beginning of your Skype name, Facebook, colon, and then whatever your name is. So he had that, and I pasted it in the chat, and basically what he thought I did, and overreacted as I su suspected, was he thought I full out doxed him, got his address, his full name, his his um, his um parents' phone number, all that crap. I, I didn't do that, okay? B believe what you want, but I didn't do that. All I did was paste his Skype in the chat, and apparently he went on the forums and he made some sort of thread about it like ban Joey Mass right now he just doxed me and although at the time it, it wasn't true and people who were like understanding knew that it wasn't true that I doxed him you see most people weren't open to believe whatever I have to say because well someone who's done this many bad things doesn't get the benefit of the doubt like you do the first time or even second time around and I I got um a lot of things went down that day, like, I think, um, I, th my friend saw an account on the server that reminded him of a b of previously banned player, uh, KCL729, so what we did was, we were sure it was him, you know, we, we were almost positive it was, so a stupid ass idea I had to see if it was him or not was to DDoS him, and if if that account went offline, then we knew it was him, and sure enough, it actually was him, and he went offline, and I stopped it like five minutes later, but the point got across that it was his account, so at, at the time, I felt really close to a Mafia Ferret, and, you know, we talked a lot, we have a history, he was one of the first people I met from MC War, so I decided to DDoS, um, that account, and when I found out that it was KCL, since that account went off conveniently when we DDoSed it, um, I told Mafia because he was a staff member at the time, and I told him that we found an alternate account of KCL729, and that he should report it to the staff. So basically, what happened was he threw me under the bus in that situation, and he kind of told the staff that I DDoSed them, and then he um he gave the staff. A quoted Skype message that I sent him, which was supposed to be kept between us and wasn't supposed to be given out. Um, a quoted Skype message of me um, g uh, giving a list of IP addresses. Now, see, some of them I did find, but 
um, a lot of them were from an old list that I got from a, an old War Z player who got banned, I think. I don't know, it belonged to Wound War, and it was just a list of tons and tons of IP addresses that belonged to people. And he gave that to the staff, and with all the events that went on that day, they decided to ban me for the exact reason, malicious activities, DDoS, and docs, etc. So, after that, this at the time, you were able to buy three unbans for one account. I, that was my second unban, and after I got banned that night, I laid down in bed, and I realized that I love MC Brawl a lot, and if I did anything bad one more time, that I would be banned permanently, and I knew it, because even though I could have bought an unbanned one more time, I knew that they probably wouldn't have given me that opportunity. So, I made this really long intro for myself on the forums. Um, it, it must have been over like a thousand words. It was this huge intro explaining everything that had happened, why I started DDoSing, you know, what and, and how I was going to stop. And that was around midway through February. You know, I, I bought the unban, I, I made that intro, and people were understanding. So the weeks went by, and I, I, I stopped, and, and I honestly stopped every form of. DDoS or malicious activity, you know, I was off the grid with that stuff. I didn't do any of that stuff because I, I really didn't want to get banned from MC Brawl because it was important to me and it, it still kind of is and I'm really bummed out that I can't play it anymore. But, um, so what I did after that was, or no, so I made that, um, I made that account, no, no, what the hell am I talking about? I, I, um, after I made that intro, um, I stopped all that malicious stuff, you know, DDoS and whatever, and I I still got had the feeling that um, my old friend Mafia that he didn't exactly like me and that he was almost out to get me, like get me banned or whatever, you know. I had that feeling, and since I was on my you know best behavior, I wanted to be back on good terms with him. So I sent him a a brief but sincere Skype message saying. I'm sorry for everything I've done and all the problems I've caused. I hope you could forgive me. And he seemed to be, you know, um, forgive, forgiving at that moment when I sent him that message. So what I did was, um, we were cool. At least it, I, I thought we were cool. And I went on and I started playing. But since my parents are divorced, I, I have to go with my father like every other weekend to his house, and where there, I'm with him, the only thing I have access to is my phone and my iPad, so I couldn't play MC Brawl while I was with him. So, what I did was, um, you know, I was with him the whole day, we went to, like, the mall or whatever, we went out to eat, and I, it was a, a long day, I, I kinda had fun, you know, I was, I was addicted to MC Brawl, so I, I, I was more interested in playing that, but I, st I still enjoyed myself while I was out with my father. So, what I did was, um, I wanted to go, when I got home, it was around 11 o'clock at night, I, oh, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm missing up stories, you know, a lot, lot to talk about here. So, that day, I had bought a, uh, a new laptop, um, my dad got it for me, it was a late, late Christmas present, it was like March 8th, and, you know, we never got around to buying it because I saved money for it, but it was a late, late pr Christmas present that my dad got me for, um, for myself to use for like high school I'm going to next year and to play uh, Minecraft so, and other games and such. So when I got that laptop, I it was around six o'clock that day. I went to his house. I started using it. I the last time I played MC Brawl and Joey Mass 99, I went on that night. I played um, one quick game. You know I wasn't used to the setup. So you know to this day I really wish that my last game I played would have been better. It was um, it was a pretty bad game in my opinion. Um, because I, w I did so bad, I didn't even stay till the end. So, that night, you know, after I was done with the laptop, I went up to my room in his house to go to bed. And, you know, before, I wasn't exactly tired yet, so I laid down to, to check my phone, you know. And usually what I do in my spare time when I have nothing else to do is either watch YouTube or check the forums. So, I grabbed my phone and I went to check the forums. And it said, error, you you cannot, um, you are not allowed to perform this action because for the following reason, banned from MC Brawl. And I, I, since I honestly nearly threw up on the floor, like right there. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? 
So I was in a moment of shock, you know, I really, really, really didn't know what was going on. So the first thing I did was I ran downstairs, I woke up my father, he wasn't too happy. I, I grabbed the computer and I got on Skype and, you know, I had a few mods like Brawler, Dark Chaos, um, Mafia, I, th I think Rainy Wolves was on my Skype. And um, I wanted to know why I was banned because I did, honestly, I, I knew that I didn't do anything wrong in those weeks because I made that intro and I knew that this would happen you know I'm a sensible person and most of the time I learn from my mistakes when it's too late like this happened so I could not sleep that night I really couldn't like the thought of the fact that I knew I wasn't be able to get on MC Brawl so I, ch I mean I, I started looking around on Skype that night um, I checked uh, I saw that they changed the ban rule I like that just made me sick like they changed the rule the rules for bans so because of me you're now only allowed to buy two unbans and since I was eligible for my third before I got banned they changed the rule and then they banned my account so I went on my phone I checked the ban list and it said I was banned for the same exact reason as it was last time malicious activities DDoS and docs so I got all nervous and you know I was like scared out of my mind the only person who responded to me that night I sent a message to all the mods I had on Skype that I trusted I sent a message to Mafia and um, it was something along the lines of Mafia and he goes yeah I go um, I have a problem he goes what is it I go for some reason I'm banned from MC Brawl permanently and you know he seemed understanding and he, he it looked like he felt bad you know and i guess his advice his advice seemed wise you know he told me not to quit minecraft and that there were other servers out there and that like you know he knew i loved mc brawl and that it would be better and whatever so i went to bed and i stayed up until like five in the morning because i couldn't sleep because like even thinking about this like that night right now is making me like n you know this is hard to talk about so anyway I went to bed that night and when I woke up in the morning I checked Skype on my iPad and it said like um, I got a response from Dark Chaos Knight which was a solid one and he he goes I'm really sorry about this um, I don't I don't you know I don't exactly believe in what they do um, apparently someone submitted an old DDoS threat of yours like keyword old and, and submit like reported an old DDoS threat which then got me permanently banned because I'm pretty sure that Putty and the whole staff was fed up with my bullshit. And you know, it's kind of understandable. It's hard to agree with, but I know where they're coming from because, I mean, it, I cause problems for them and they have a lot to worry about. You know, I know Putty's in high school, so is Orange Chaplu. You know, they they the least of their problems would be a 14 year old boy on Minecraft who thinks he's cool because he's DDoSing and I, you know that's not the whole story but that's what it appears to be and it's bad it really is so I, I, I looked into it that day and I thought maybe if I made a sincere apology to Putty on TeamSpeak or whatever but you know I was just really discouraged and I felt like it wasn't gonna work out so I cleared the cache on my phone so I could log onto the forums as a guest and I started looking around you know um, and someone made a thread, I think it was like Tea with Choco or whatever, someone made a thread about it, you know, um, what do you think about this, or whatever, like, cause, you know, some people, you know, I, I knew I had a lot of haters, and that was because I was a rude player when I would get spammed by messages, and it, it would, it would make me feel stressed, because, you know, I mean, although popularity seems nice, it's, it's really, really hard to deal with when players are targeting you constantly, spamming you constantly, and sending you all these kind of messages, like, weird requests, you know, asking to join a clan, so, it was hard for me because MC Brawl, I know it seems really like depressing to say this, but it was my life in a way that I didn't do anything else. I didn't um I didn't play many other servers. Like I played this faction server, but I I, I don't even like play much Minecraft now. Like it's just depressing to think about the whole situation because, you know, I just wanted to make this video to tell you guys that I'm sorry for everything I did. I really am. You know, accept it or not, I'm, I'm sorry. And if this will be the last thing I get to say to you, 
then let it be so, because I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone who have ever DDoSed, hurt, insulted, anyone like that. I'm sorry. And even though I'm not playing MC Brawl anymore, I'm not going to DDoS. I'm not even going to like... I don't. I, I changed all the passwords on my booters just so I couldn't have access if I changed it. Like, I, I changed it to a random thing I just typed in the keyboard. Like, I just don't want anything to do with it anymore. Unfortunately, all my alternate accounts were banned. And one of my account, well, one of the accounts that I had access to, but it wasn't mine, um, XX, uh, John Hoje XX, he's my IRL friend who was the one who showed me MC War in the first place. And ba uh, he showed it to me back like March when I started playing Minecraft. And at first, I, I have to be honest, I thought the idea of it was stupid. I didn't like it at all. So, um, yeah, most popular MC War player, gone. So, oh yeah, about John, forgot to finish that. He was um, a good player. He stopped playing around late September, early October because of school, and he found that Xbox games were more enjoyable for him. So he had let me use his account to play, you know, MC MC War to level it up while he was gone because I, you know, I already had the highest level and the most kills. So sometimes it got boring. So I would play on his account for fun, and it, by by any means, it was not my account at all. So when I, when I got banned, I checked all the accounts that I had, and they all got banned, including John. And I felt really bad about that. So what he did was he was at my house the next day, and um, I I I helped him um, post a ban appeal on the forums about it, like a ban appeal explaining that he was not exactly my alt, and that he I just had access to his account, so he agreed to change the password to his account. Um, like he he um, said that in the ban appeal, and they accepted it, which is really good because I would just feel awful if he gets to miss out on playing because of my stupid ass mistakes. So, and just putting that out there, he's not my alternate. Um, so what I'm gonna do with the channel is, it has come to my attention that um, my channel is pretty much gonna die out if I run out of old videos to upload and whatnot. So. I'm gonna let my friends that I trusted closely use the channel. Um, one of my friends who I used to Skype with a lot, and I still do, but you know I'm not doing much when I'm Skyping with him. Um, he his his in-game name you might know him KJH Gamer. Yeah, he's going to be using the um, he's gonna be using the channel from time to time now, and I might also let uh, Gannibal. You you guys know Gannibal. His new account is xxx underscore Gannibal xxx. Yeah, he will be uh, using the channel as well. Um, also, um, since the channel originally belonged to Mafia and it's grown by far the most popular MC War channel, um, I'm going to I'm gonna let him use it again. If Mafia, if you're watching this video, or if someone from Phase watches this and you tell him. You guys could change the channel. I know they all joined Phase or whatever. You guys can uh, change the channel to Phase. I'll send you the new password and whatnot. Just one thing I ask you: please don't change the password on me. You know the channel was important to me, and it was what helped me get to what I was on MC War. So is, you could use that channel. Like it has way more popularity and gets the most views. Like I was looking at the statistics yesterday: 470 subscribers, 72,000 channel views. My top video got like 3,500 views, which is am amazing, and I never thought that the noob I was a year ago was going to turn out to be someone who was so good at MC War. And, you know, I, I mean, I never got too cocky, but when someone would say I sucked, I just can't agree because my stats show otherwise, and that's just rude and insulting to say to someone who's actually not bad because you know arguably I was one of the best not you know some people might have said I was the best other people won't say I'm the best because I use donor items a lot but but that wasn't the point I didn't use crossbow like every other game because I couldn't use 
anything else. I use crossbow because I found it easy to nuke with, and I, I, I was good at using the crossbow. You know, I could nuke with any gun I tried, and basically, as on a good day, as long as, like, you know, the odds were in my favor, I could nuke with any gun. I, I've done it with M16, you know, U, USP, and, and, like, Barrett. I've, I've done so many crazy combos. I've double nuked with the flamethrower. So, I'm just putting this out there so you guys don't freak out when you see KJH Gamer or Gannibal uploading on my channel. It's like, oh my god, it's Joey Mass Alt. No, it's not Joe. It's not my alt. Don't you don't have to worry about that. It's it's just my friend that I'm gonna let him use the channel to keep the popularity of the legacy going. And you know, it it could change based on the clan. I I think it might just be a community MC War channel. Anyone who wants to use it that I trust, you know, you have to Skype with me pretty often if you want to use it. So, yeah, I'm sorry for everything I've done, and one thing I just want to put out there, um, Mafia, I, um, I'm sorry for everything that happened between us. We were good friends. I'm sorry I kind of got you demoted, and I'm, I don't know if you're sorry you got me banned or whatever, but it is what it is, and I guess this is it. No more MC Brawl. So, the channel, um, the uh, the exact link to it. I changed it back when it was TRA channel, but you can't change the exact link to it. So the channel is called LTE Clan MC. I'm probably gonna change it to Phase Clan MC for them to use it. Um, the direct I URL would be like HTTP colon slash 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 uh, yeah, HTTP colon, yeah, colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash, and then it was this exactly, TRA Clan MC. So yeah, I think that was it, right? Yeah, TRA Clan MC. If you want to put it like, it right in the browser, that's what it was, like when you put it in the browser, but if you search up LTE Clan MC, you'll find it. If you search up Joey Mass 99 on YouTube, you'll find a lot of stuff too. So, I guess this is it, you know. No more MC War, no more MC Brawl. I don't know if there'll ever be an opportunity for me to come back or whatever. If there is, that would be really nice because I miss it so much, you know. I really do. But I guess I get what I deserved. I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm not going to disagree with that. I kind of deserved it in a way. But, you know, things happen for a reason. People get what comes for them. So, yeah, KJH Gamer, he's a very skilled, oh god, lag. He, he's a very skilled MC War player, um, along with uh, Gannibal, he's also pretty good. And I, I'm, I'll let Mafia or whatever, if you guys want to use the channel, Mafia, I guess if you want to unblock me on Skype, you could talk to me about it um so yeah anyone who wants to uh talk about that i'll s i'll um i'll see what i could do if i trust you or not i just i just want my channel to still be there you know i mean eventually it's gonna die off if there's no activity on it i know i still get views on my old videos but it kind of would look bad if a channel's just sitting there with all those views of a band player so I guess one last thing I have to say is, um, although a lot of people disres like didn't have respect for me towards the end because of all the things I did, I just wish I'd never gotten into this, and I, I guess it's only myself to blame for, you know, agreeing to, to do all this stuff. Um, like, it's a long video, I don't know if any of you will watch the whole thing, but if you do, that would be great. Um, if, um... If anyone didn't have respect for me at the end, I can understand why, because of all the bad things I did, you know, it all started, I C4 glitched one day on, or like a mod was on or whatever, I, I got banned for that, and then, like a big shot douchebag, I bought an unbanned for an hour, and then, then I got banned for having a sword with an inappropriate name on the PvP server, and then I got banned once for a DDoS threat, although I think it was a misunderstanding, that one, it, on, on, that one, I don't know. And then the second one, 
was uh, all about that thing that happened with Credo and um, the KCL alt. And then the third one, well, that's where we are now. All my alts are banned, all that money I put in. I'm not going to be a douche and charge back or anything like that. You know, I guess MC Brawl was a good server. They deserve my money. And, yeah, that's it. So, this is Joey Mask 99 signing out for the last time. See you guys.